Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a long while. Yes, I know that. But girls gotta do what girls gotta do, right? How are you guys feeling? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel officially. I like it, but it's not okay. Today, I decided to talk on an important topic, which is how to raise your self-esteem and I think the big topic should even be confidence, you know. I have grappled with having confidence in myself quite a lot of time and I think that this is as a result of my childhood where I wasn't accepted enough, where I wasn't affirmed enough and made me grow up lacking that confidence in myself i always wanted people to like validate me i always wanted external validation but recently i found that i can actually validate myself i can actually assert myself and it's a journey that has been very very blissful and um, peaceful for me and i decided to share some tips that has helped me along my journey of being confident i'm not saying this to sell to you that i am 100 percent perfect in being a confident woman because i mean confidence is an emotion and we need to know that emotions are fleeting emotions do not really last although they are in it but they do not really last i still doubt myself sometimes and so this is telling you that it's okay sometimes for you to doubt yourself but do not dwell or wallow in your disappointment i want you to know that real confidence isn't about looking good real confidence isn't about being the smartest or the prettiest in the room Real confidence isn't about comparison at all. Real confidence comes from within and it's something that you have to consciously make effort to have. This is something that I had difficulty with because I didn't think that I could possess that power to validate myself. As of 2022, before 2023, I was very unaware of myself. And to be honest, I looked up to people to validate me a lot. To the extent that if you didn't tell me that I looked pretty in a particular clothes, I'll begin to feel very bad about myself. I may even hate myself and I may throw that clothes away, even though that clothes looked really pretty. But because nobody complimented me, I'll begin to like feel really bad and you know ask myself a lot of questions. Oh, why did this why didn't this person say these things? Or why didn't this person tell me that I am beautiful? You know, so it's not about comparison at all. It's something that has to come from within, it's something that has to stem from your soul. Real confidence is knowing who you are and accepting who you are and also knowing that you cannot change people's perception of you what am i trying to say you cannot change how people have decided to perceive you it is knowing that oh although you have feelings although you're not 100 percent perfect but you are going to be working towards being that good girl that you want to be it is not telling yourself that you are the best in the world because, I mean, I don't think that anybody can boast of being the best. I mean, the absolute best. But it is working step by step to make sure that those attitudes you are feeling are to make sure that you are taking steps towards working on yourself. I've created like five, five things that has really helped me in being a confident person. Because a lot of people have come up to me and say, oh, Chijima, the way you handle this particular situation, I mean, ah, that was very bold of you. I don't think I would have had the courage to do that how did you do it what inspired you what made you think that you could handle that particular situation and when i do those things i am not aware that somebody is seeing me as being confident i just see it as a normal way of life because this is something that has become part and parcel of me so when they tell me these things that oh you did something back ago that was a very good thing that made you stood out that made you become bold if they didn't tell me i wouldn't even know that this is something that i had done and it was a confident move do you understand i'll be bringing up five things that has helped me in this my journey and i think can be helpful to you to you can you know apply it in your life and see how well it goes even after i list these five things you can also drop in the comment section what you think about these things and if you have any you can add to it and the first one i would like to say is emotional mastery like i said earlier in this video emotions are innate behaviors that come as a result of triggers it could be perhaps somebody made you angry and you had to blot out or somebody made you feel so loved and you had to like cry you know those are emotions and sometimes when they come we do not even realize that this is what is happening 
and what i'm trying to emphasize on with this point is that we should be aware of what we are feeling at certain points in time this has really helped me to boost my self-confidence because before now whenever i felt a particular way i'll just act towards it i wouldn't even be able to put my hand on what is particularly making me angry or aggravated or very excited or mad or even lonely at some time so i think that if we are able to master our emotions if we are able to put a name to whatever it is that we are feeling at every point in time we would be able to master this attitude i tell my friends most times that i'm becoming more self-aware and when i tell a particular girl which is my friend i wouldn't want to mention her name but she knows herself she should be watching this video i'll say i'm becoming very very self-aware and the certain things that are happening around me they can't just fly past i have to like meditate on them i have to like give them names that by giving them names i'm able to identify them sometimes when i'm feeling down and she asks me oh what's wrong what's happening i'm able to immediately say what it is that i'm feeling and i find out that when i eventually say these things i feel more good about myself and i think that this is something that you should try if you are feeling um, dejected if you're feeling lonely if you're feeling less confident you should be able to like put names to a particular emotion that you are feeling whatever it is whatever it is if if you just lost a job you should know that oh you're feeling disappointed or sad if you just got engaged you should know that oh you're feeling very very happy or you know whatever whatever it is just be able to put a name to whatever feeling that comes to you at a particular point in time it will help you a lot to be masters of your emotion and to be master of yourself a lot of people are not masters of themselves and it shows they do not know this but it shows and it has really really helped me along the line my second point is meditation Meditation is, a, is actually a good way to bring out the best version of yourself. There are different types of meditation, right? Some people think that reading books make them meditate. Some people think that watching movies make them meditate. And some people think that talking to God makes them meditate. But whatever works for you, right? Whatever works for you can serve as meditation. Personally, I like to take a long walk. I like to walk along a path where there is a lot of greenery. I like to see green plants a lot i mean when i walk around places where there are green plants i personally feel very fulfilled and enriched and rejuvenated because it makes me begin to think upon how beautiful those things are and by that i begin to think about how beautiful i am if the grasses on the floor can be this beautiful how about me that god took time to create you know and kind of boost my self-esteem when i do that i begin to ask myself certain questions I begin to tell myself certain things. I begin to affirm myself and assert myself. The third thing that I'll be discussing in how to raise your self-esteem is health, wellness, and fitness. To be very, very honest, I started taking fitness seriously last year, 2023. Before last year, 2023, I would eat whatever at whatever time. And I would not even exercise. I wouldn't do anything that has to do with that has to do with body movement. And when I started fitness, when I started exercising, that I just squat, I run, I take a long walk. I have really seen an improvement in my physical appearance, and this has further boosted my confidence. It makes me feel good to know that I'm actually doing something that I'm seeing the results. The fourth one is journaling. I'm somebody that likes to write a lot and when I feel sad at certain points or when I feel happy or when I feel overwhelmed with certain things that are happening in my life, I like to write them down and I'll see after a while if I go back to visit those memories, those things that made me sad, I'll see that oh, so this was actually what I was feeling at that particular point in time and I'll be able to point out what made me solve that particular problem at that particular point in time. The fifth point, which is my last point for you guys is education and enrichment i'm somebody who doesn't like to scroll mindlessly through social media applications because i find myself comparing myself when i do that especially tiktok when i scroll through tiktok mindlessly without any aim i find myself you know comparing myself with other creators and i'm not saying this is bad i'm not saying tiktok is bad but sometimes when i do it i like to do it for a specific amount of time and you may want to watch that as well you may want to adopt 
this i rather spend my time reading a book or watching youtube videos of people that are motivational than you know scroll mindlessly through this application because you never really know that this comparison unconsciously sits into your vein somehow you you may not know it but you begin to compare yourself with the video that you just watched i rather spend my time watching youtube videos educational youtube videos of some creators that i will sometimes learn from and you know this makes me feel good it makes me feel happy that i'm learning something new rather than scrolling mindlessly through social media applications that they are not bad but i mean except you're making money from them i mean you should be careful how you scroll through them anyway these are the things that has really helped me to boost my confidence and there are still more things that i'm discovering and if you have more things that you want me to talk about or you have more things that has helped you in your journey you can share that on the comment section if this video was helpful to you don't forget to share this to your loved ones don't forget to like subscribe and comment your thoughts thank you i'll see you again in my next video bye for confidence to be your <laughs>